все полностью. На. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has praised the country's armed forces, days after the Ukrainian troops' unprecedented attack on Russia's Kursk region. Everyone sees that the Ukrainian army knows how to surprise and how to achieve results. This was proven in the battlefield where our soldiers not only withstood the overwhelming force of the invaders, but also destroyed it in the way necessary to protect Ukraine, our state and our independence, the Ukrainian president said in his speech on Thursday during the presentation of the Army Plus application. Zelensky's speech came two days after hundreds of Ukrainian troops supported by armored combat vehicles and tanks attacked Russia's Kursk region on the border. However, Zelensky did not mention the Kursk operation in his speech today. Ukrainian troops' incursion into Kursk was the largest attack on Russian territory since the start of Russia's invasion in February 2020. The incident also marked the first case of Russia being invaded by another country since World War II. Russian President Vladimir Putin described the attack as Ukraine's large-scale provocation. According to the Washington-based Institute for the Study of War, Ukrainian troops had advanced as much as 10 kilometers into Russian territory as of Wednesday. The Russian command is transferring militants from the private military company Wagner to the Kursk region of Russia to resist the Ukrainian armed forces. As Russian media indicate, the transfer of Wagner units was reported by war correspondent Yegor Guzenko. It is noted that he published a video with mercenaries signing it with the words, Did I say there would be good news? Well, here it is for you. Wagner Group fighters are returning to Russia. I will tell you about further surprises soon. In the mentioned video, allegedly representatives of the PMC confirm that they are returning to the Russian Federation to the Kursk region. We'll be there soon. It'll be hot, but we'll have fire extinguishers, said one of the militants. At the same time as Baza writes, with reference to other Russian war correspondents, now the part of Tsudza, where the shooting battles are taking place, is under the control of Ukraine. Ukrainian formations have occupied the western half of Sudza. Now the line of combat contact runs along the dam area. It is a lowland through which a fairly small river Sudza flows, said war correspondent Mikhail Zinchenko. According to Zinchenko, this area is also defended by local militia units along with Russian military personnel. According to his colleague Yuri Kotenkov, most of Sudza is under the control of the Ukrainian military and tanks are present on the territory of this settlement. Russian blogger Yuri Podolyaka reports that Sudza is full of Ukrainian armed forces soldiers. Sudza is completely lost for us and it is a vital logistics hub and the enemy is trying to play this advantage. From Sudza, among other things, there is a road to the north to Lagov, along which he is also trying to advance, the blogger writes. According to some reports, 
The occupiers managed to stop the Ukrainian armed forces in the area of the workers' settlement of Korenevo. Intense fighting is taking place along the Loknia Nikol Sky Viktorovka Kruglenkoy line. According to the resource, before everyone, well, almost. The Russian Defense Ministry claims that units of the North Group of Troops, together with the FSB agencies, continue to destroy units of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Sudza and Koronevsky districts of the Kursk region, directly adjacent to the Russian-Ukrainian border.